you know, there are, there's a lot of things that could, could go wrong. Three school threats in one week, keeping investigators, school staff, students, and their parents on their toes. Green Country Schools initiated their emergency lockdown protocols twice with one district, even, even canceling school. So why does it seem like we're hearing so many of these threats so often in tonight's Project Safe Schools? Sierra Pizarro tells us what a security expert is saying about this trend. Sierra. Well, the majority of threats end up being false alarms. That was the case today for two of the schools. But earlier this week, a weapon was found and a student was arrested. Three different school threats in one week. It is alarming. The first on Monday at Union's Freshman Academy. Any time that you hear this, it's very alarming, scary. The second at Henrietta High School. We live in crazy times and you just have to be very observant. Vigilant. The third at Broken Arrow High School. Kind of wondering, you know, what's really going on and if, if it was really like a threat or if it was just some kid talking. Fortunately, the alleged threats at Henrietta and Broken Arrow turned out to be not credible. At Union, a student did bring a gun to school, but we're told it wasn't used to actually threaten anyone. The vast majority of threats turn out to be unfounded, but every threat has to be investigated thoroughly treated seriously and have some type of appropriate consequences when the perpetrators are caught. Ken Trump is the president of a school safety consulting firm based in Ohio. He says the majority of threats are made by social media, which means a digital footprint is left behind. Law enforcement is getting much better at tracking down the digital footprints of threat makers and sadly, uh, the majority of threat makers oftentimes turn out to be kids. They don't realize that a ton of bricks is going to fall uh, upon them. The student from Union Freshman Academy who brought a gun to school in his backpack was arrested and pending criminal charges. Uh, many of the threat makers don't realize that you can't put the genie back in the bottle. There is no such thing in today's world as a threat that turns out to be a joke. Although this week's threats turned out to be false alarms, the scare is still real. Henrietta schools were closed today, but because because of the alleged threat, classes resume tomorrow. Despite the false alarms, school officials encourage students to report anything they find suspicious. I'm Sarah Pizarro, two works for you. Sierra, thank you. We dug a bit deeper to find out how many incidents of handguns have been reported in Oklahoma public schools. Take a look. Districts self-report gun incidents to the State Department of Education each school year. And here's what we found over the past five years. Notice 2018 had nearly twice as many incidents as 